you're in, you know, danger of getting shield broken, and that doesn't usually happen to Cam. He's really good about that resource and managing it. Yeah. So we got Lightning Camp, who is a native Smash 4 player. He played Diddy in Smash 4 as well. Versus uh, Justin Hampton, which he he plays PM. He's played Melee. He didn't really play any Smash 4. Oh, this is Arsenal's. I don't think I've actually met him quite yet. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, sorry. I, I called him by his real name. <laughs> I'm, I'm his friend. You know top yeah, yeah, I know top You're players. personal. But... <laughs> personal. Anyways. Uh, so he he's kind of going through a little bit of a character crisis. I read on his Twitter just a little while ago that oh, this is a good character to, to stick on. Is this the character that he's going to crisis with, or is this somebody else he's practicing? Well, the thing is, like he still actively plays PM oh. and melee, and he's a Fox main in those, ah. so he's worried about the crossover. Okay, that can be difficult. That yeah. makes sense. Um, it, he said he has he still has a lot of a lot of fun with the character. Oh boy! Ooh, not fun is banana into F smash. Maybe fun for the Diddy hitting it. <laughs> oh, he oh, knows. He, he knows. waited it out. He's like, okay, I've been here before. I've seen this. Oh, that was an opportunity. I think he would have. Okay. Never, Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Opportunity was right there. He found it. <laughs> He's gonna take it. Board tilt. Following the tech chase, getting an up smash. Uh, Gimmer releasing a video. I don't know about that. I wonder if uh, he's taking a look at it. The F tilt up smash? Okay, so that was a really, really beautiful opportunity to utilize some new Diddy tech. Uh, so in this game, you can't run past people. So when you run towards them, you push them, uh, especially if they're lighter than you uh, or around the same way. You can't really do it to heavies. So in that situation, he knocked Fox down. The banana was behind him. If he just ran at Fox, he could push Fox into the banana and get a forward smash or a grab or whatever mm -hmm. he really wanted. Essentially like an unblockable setup. Yes, yes. It's a really, really unique thing that Diddy that can do. Definitely not new Diddy tech, but but I'm glad, you know, you guys are finding it now. What do you mean not game. new? You could you couldn't do it in Smash 4 or Yes, anything. you could. A, like push them halfway across the stage? Into not halfway across stage, no. But you could definitely push people into a, into a banana that's already on the stage. True. It had to be really close, though. In this game, they ah! didn't have to be anywhere close. Oh, my goodness, Arsenal's. He almost picked up that double trip. Mm, wow, the get up attack getting beat. I think it was coming from the air, right? It was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming from above. Um, this is notoriously a difficult matchup for Diddy Kong in the previous game and in this game. Uh, I don't Wait, think it'd be too much different. Difficult in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Fox is Fox is a monster in this game too. Like, I got some, I got some stuff for you. Anyway, all right, all right, all right. We both are, play the Diddy. Diddy. Are, the Diddy's are, yeah, you're right. This is it's really hard to not be biased, like <laughs> to watch Diddy and be all like, yeah, I hope he. Well, oh well, I mean, he could. Never mind. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, Arsenal's finding a little bit more trouble getting the kill on this one. That should. Oh no, he put too much sauce on it. He didn't know. Oh, Cam's Cam, uh, Cam's controlling. He's going way too far off. But it's okay. He, he's like, all right, I just need to get back on. Um, at this point, the risk reward for barrels is kind of interesting because you're like at death percent anyways. And if you land barrels, that's like 25% or more. Kind of nuts. Okay, I'm keeping it at bay with the uh, the projectiles. It, it's crazy that, or it, not crazy. Um, it, it's, it's an interesting concept to kind of think about, oh, why is that not a smash? Why did he do dash attack? It's an interesting concept when you put uh, different Smash players in different uh, from different games in one game and see what they all kind of struggle with. Items being one of those things that I see a lot of melee and even PM players struggle with. They they play the later Smash games. Yeah. Not to mention items function quite a bit differently in this game than the previous iterations. You That's can pick true. them up in different ways. Oh! Yeah. Uh, I like it. Oh! It kind of flops them off the platform. That's why. Yeah, and. That, okay, wait, hold up. So remember when the game was first coming out and we were like, oh, it's so good. If you trip somebody at the ledge, they don't fall off. Everybody's been falling off the ledge when I trip them. Wait, near the, I near the never ledge. heard that. Near the ledge? Yeah, never yeah, heard yeah. that. Okay, so you remember in Smash 4 when you would trip somebody, they could, they could basically sit by the ledge and you trip somebody and yeah, they would I, just I fall still do off that. to the ledge. I still do that in this game too. That's what I'm saying. So at the beginning of Ultimate, they were like, it doesn't happen anymore. Really? Yeah. I'm glad I missed that false news trade. Yeah, what the heck? Fake news. Fake news. Anyway, game two. Cam really comfortable right now. It looks like Arsenal's, uh, you know, just struggling to get the kill. 
he was doing a lot of damage. He had a couple of moments that were really good for him, but uh, a couple of decisions just weren't placed very well. And now he has to try all over again. Cam, refresh stocks. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is kind of like a crash course in learning. Um, oh. You, you got Arsenal who has such a plethora of matchup knowledge versus PM Diddy. Mm -hmm. uh, but some of the stuff he's playing in this game is going to be different. Like, Diddy's down tilt combos, not really a thing at, like, super low percent. Like, getting down tilted at, like, 12 shouldn't be comboing into, like, more down tilts and grabs or anything like that. Uh, but those are kind of things, like, that might look true, and it's really hard to tell on the first play. Mm -hmm. Cam really taking advantage of that. He's like, yeah, this guy he probably might, doesn't know that this is really Yeah, it's okay. And then... Uh, a B inside B. Some Diddy's kind of jarring. If you don't know what's going on, he's got a lot of burst options. He's really fast. He can be pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. And then the item play we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So you've got control of both aggressive and passive options. Control of neutral and even then aggressive. Right now, he just died at like 80. No kill power. And no kill power. <laughs> Oh! oh my god, it does so much damage too. And it looks like it shouldn't combo, but man, that there, there, there's, will there's combo some, yeah, there, weird... there, there are weird percents where it does. Thanks, and Ultimate. Down there. Jeez, oh, this no, is. No, no, no. Is that real? Is there a. I yeah. didn't know you could cling down there. Well, yeah, no, it's there's a there's a, a pole in the middle. Or yeah, I, I've always support. died when I tried to cling there. Hmm. Oh. Which, well, all right, which thanks, one Cam. of y'all is the uh, is the Diddy Master? It, it's Cam. It's definitely Cam, Obviously, actually. he's the one in it's winners. Actually, it's actually really is Cam. Oh! Oh, uh, yeah. You, you see, can... if he had Smash Stick, he could have done Smash right there. He could have done Smash Stick without it. No, he, no, he a... does have Smash Stick. Oh, he doesn't? Yeah. No, Cam 2 is Smash Stick for him. Go ask him right now. All right. Go ask him right now. I'll go, I'll... All right, field reporter, Dakpo, going on to the scene. Go wow. get him. Go get him. I got a dollar on it. Don't, no, wait a second. No, I'm so nervous. I don't actually know. Uh, I think I just lost another dollar. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I think I just lost another dollar. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where the information is coming. I'm so scared. Ah! Dang it, man! Oh. <laughs> uh, That's my student that I know really well. Um, <laughs> just kind of throwing that out there. <laughs> also, getting, getting, winning the side bets all across. You guys don't even know. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Oh. Well, it has been quite a treat. Uh, we're gonna be stepping off. Feel free to follow me at the Dakpo on Twitter.com. Uh, you don't have to follow me. I'm just I'm just here for entertainment. <laughs> but we're going to hop off. We've got some matches to play, and I think we're going to get into the rest of the final bracket. So we will... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. problem. Yeah, my fault. Um, yeah, so we're going to hop off commentary and get the rest of the T-Lock crew on here. Don't go anywhere. Watch some of these commercials, and we'll be right back. Look, man, if HBox was a Ness main and not a Puff player, if he was the best oh player, my, oh, look at those double jump guesses. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, HBox. Oh! because Ness is pretty flowcharty oh on it. Oh I my can't God, believe it!